Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this aligned shamrock stitch which you can see here in front of you. Now this is a fairly easy stitch to work. Uh, it has a nice flow to it once you get it going. It's similar on the front as, a ba as it is in the back and it's a fairly sturdy lace pattern. So we're going to learn how to crochet this stitch today. I'm going to be using a little bit of the Pima cotton yarn. It's a worsted weight 100% cotton yarn by Lion Brand as well as a 5 millimeter crochet hook. Links to both of these items can be found in the description of the video. As well in the description of the video you will find a link to the free written instructions for this stitch which can be found on my blog at ridgetexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with a new free stitch tutorial and as well don't forget to subscribe. Our stitch today is worked in rows so you're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain, your foundation chain will need to have a multiple of four stitches plus two. Today I'm going to chain a total of 22 stitches. There's 20, 21, and 22. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you'll begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. So count in one, two, into that second chain, work a single crochet, and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row one, chain one and turn your work. For row two, single crochet into that first stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, chain three. This chain three counts as a double crochet stitch and turn your work. For row three you're going to double crochet into the next stitch so you have your cha turning chain which was a double crochet into that next stitch work one double crochet stitch. We're now going to work some of our shamrock pattern. To begin you're going to work a double crochet cluster. The double crochet cluster, this first one, is going to be worked perpendicular to the stitches down below. So start by chaining three and then back into the first chain of that chain three you're going to work a uh, the cluster stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch of the chain three yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook. You want to do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. You'll then have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all three. That's your first double crochet cluster. You're then going to skip the next stitch and over the next three stitches work a double crochet three together. To work the double crochet three together yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, 
insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two loops. I'm going to do that one more time. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, and pull through two loops. You'll have four loops on your hook, and you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. That is your double crochet, three stitches together. You're then going to repeat those two steps all the way across. So work another double crochet cluster, chain three, work the double crochet cluster into the first stitch of that chain three. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Do that one more time into the same stitch. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. You're then going to down below skip two stitches. You're then going to skip the next stitch, work a double crochet three together over the next three stitches. Work another double crochet cluster and repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final three stitches, you'll work one more cluster. Skip the next stitch and then work one double crochet into each of the final two stitches. At the end of row three, chain three, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row four, double crochet into your next stitch, chain one, then into the top of your double crochet three together, work three double crochet stitches. chain one, then into your next, so you're skipping the cluster in between, into your next double crochet three together, work three double crochet stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way across to your final two double crochets where you will work one double crochet into each of those final two stitches. Your final stitch is worked into the top of that chain three because remember it does count as a stitch. At the end of row four, chain one and turn your work. We're now going to work for row five, a single crochet into that first stitch 
and into the next stitch, then single crochet into the chain one space, and then into each of the next double crochet stitches. So you're going to be working a single crochet into each stitch and chain space all the way across. When you come to the end of this row, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And that's all there is for the repeat of this pattern. So I'm almost all the way across. Don't forget to work into the top of your churning chain because it counts as a stitch. So after you've worked that final stitch, chain one and turn, you're now going to repeat rows two, that was your single crochet row, through to five for as long as you would like. Fasten off and weave in your ends. And that's all there is to working the aligned shamrock stitch. Thank you so much for joining me once again. Don't forget to subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.